iPhone 10 December 2022 review. Now this phone launched in 2017 and is about five years old. I covered it in a speed test a couple days ago, but I wanted to revisit this on its own because I do believe that this phone has really stood the test of time. And really basically everything that's out today is just another iteration of this device. It really is. You know, yes, we got squared edges and stuff like that. But overall, you know, nothing has really changed from the rounded edges and the feel of iPhone 10 besides just having the squared edges and a little bit different notch, dynamic island, stuff like that. I still really appreciate the size here of the iPhone 10. I really kind of miss it, actually. It was just like a perfect feel in the corner of your hand. Kind of just rolled this edge of the phone right here just kind of rolled into the palm very nicely. So when you are using the phone, it just felt ultra comfortable to use, whether you're using the left hand or the right hand. Reaching wasn't too hard either. However, at the time, it was kind of annoying that we didn't have a, a bigger option for people who wanted a bigger smartphone. And that's when the 10s Max came around just a year after the iPhone 10, because everybody obviously wanted a big option as well in the iPhone 10s Max. And that's when the whole Max devices started and things like that. And then it went to the Pro Max and stuff like that. But on and on we go. This was the device. So the question is, is this phone still usable? Well, what I want to do here is kind of just go through a few things and kind of check how it does. So let's do a couple of things on here and just see if we can get anything to lag. So I'm going to go ahead and check the way I'm going to do stuff that I would do. Typically, we'll go through the phone. Let's go ahead and check some news here and just kind of see how it performs in the real world. So this would be kind of how you will get performance. So you've seen right there when we kind of were loading up the news app, you can see from time to time, you can see right there the loading bar. There can be just a second or two delay by comparison to some of the newer phones. But I mean, this is not a big deal, though. You can see just just a just a second if you're going kind of fast. Can you use it though? Yes. Can you still read? Is it extra usable? I would say so. So let's go ahead and open up a third party application. And you can see that just these there is there's kind of just a little bit of a wait. You know, if you're super impatient, you know, you, you you're probably going to want something newer. Now, check the battery life too up here. One thing I'll tell you in terms of as of December 2022, since getting 16, I don't know what's up with the battery life. It drains incredibly fast. OK, it's not the worst thing in the world, but this phone is not making it a day for me like it used to. You can use this thing for about, you know, like an hour and it goes down like 15 percent. I don't know what's up with that. Also, right here towards this area of the phone, about right here phone gets kind of warm now here in December 2022 you know I haven't really seen this phone get that warm in the past so it's definitely not quite as efficient anymore but let's go into settings here and we did just get an update today I'm not going to do it here during the video but we got an update to 16.1.2 this is mostly for the iPhone 14 and 14 Pro models here so not a lot for iPhone 10 going on but what I want to mention is that when you talk about how does this phone perform by comparison to something like an iPhone from the past. So like when the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 5, 4, 4S, you know, even 6, when those phones started getting old, they didn't really have this level of performance. They were kind of um, like really bad, like super slow, couldn't do really anything. You were like almost forced to upgrade, even though some people still stuck it out because they love the bodies of those. But it's because this was equipped with the Apple A11 Bionic. And when we have the Bionic chipset on board, that really was allowing this to go the distance. You'll see it's clocked at 2.3 gigahertz and barely has three gigabytes of RAM. However, remember, iOS doesn't need a ton of RAM to perform well. You can see it with the newer iPhone still, you know, rocking some of the newer ones still rocking four gigs of RAM. Like you can get an iPhone 13. That thing has four gigs of RAM. That's only one gig more. But because the Bionic CPU and the hardware optimization is still good, it runs pretty good. 
But you can see as we go through some of these applications and we're using the phone out, this probably wouldn't slow you down too much in your day-to-day -day performance. Let's go ahead and see how the typing is here. So if I go ahead and type, hey, what is up with you today? This is an iPhone 10 review in December 2022. And let's go ahead and Asia. Let's go ahead and try the swipe. So you could see there's not even a delay with the keyboard. There was no lag here with the keyboard. Now swiping through a bunch of applications, you'll see that will happen on, on this phone. And you see right there, when I was going through, there was a hair of chop, but I mean, this is super usable. Honestly, it really is. Let's go to calculator clock. We'll do the home application here. And you're still, what's cool is that you're still getting a lot of these newer Apple applications that you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't even have, you even got measure. That's pretty cool. You can still hook your Apple watch to this, this phone right here. If you have a newer Apple watch, it'll even work with the newer ones like the Apple watch ultra right here. So yeah, I mean, you could honestly still use this. It's not a 5g phone. So do keep that in mind. It's not going to perform anything like that. And games do take a second to load up, but it's not the end of the world because they still load up very fast. So you can see we're in a game right here, super playable. Yeah, so you can see, and you see right there, there was a little bit of a delay. Now, if you wanna do something a little bit more intensive, like video editing, you can see that loading bar. This is something that as you start putting out 4K videos and stuff like that, you know, it might take a while, but you've seen scrolling through the timeline once loaded, it wasn't horrible. There is again, that just that second delay. But you could see, look at the export. It's, it's doing pretty good. And then the thing is, is that some of these apps might feel a little slow, but you could still run them all. So let's go ahead and check the price of what you can grab one of these for right now. If you wanted to try out iPhone for the first time on the low, low. Yeah, they're selling under $200 for an iPhone 10 right now. You can get an iPhone 10 that was once $1,000 for 180. So if you want an iPhone 10 just to try iPhone on the side, your budget's only around 100 to $200. You might even be able to find this cheaper depending on where you look. Yes, this phone is still usable. You can run iOS 16.1.2, the latest version for under $200. That's pretty insane. Now, what about the cameras here at this point? And you could see we've already went down 3% in just a few minutes of video here. That's what I'm saying. This thing drains pretty quick. The camera here. Now, this was the phone that really took the camera game to the next level. The iPhone, that squeaky case over there. The iPhone 11 Pro definitely took this thing to the next level. Pretty good there. Now these results, nowhere near what we have today. I mean, the noise levels are there, but are they usable with some few filters and some few sharpening effects? I would easily post these still. Would I say they're incredible? Heck no, they're definitely not incredible. But these results, especially if you got good lighting, I don't think a lot of people would judge your photo too much. I mean, the only difference between phones and real cameras is that phones are constantly trying to improve the camera. Cameras, they improve a little, but it's mostly about their lenses that you'll buy third party, but you can still do 4K video at 60 frames a second. This is a five-year-old phone that could do 4K 60. Some cameras, still to this day, Canon cameras, Sony cameras you can buy, cannot do 4K 60. As a matter of fact, the camera I'm shooting on cannot do 4K 60. The front-facing camera on here, though, not incredible. The video doesn't look amazing. The photos, they look soft. They don't look, well, they don't look soft. They look, I don't know, they just don't look good. They don't look nowhere near as sharp in quality as the iPhone of today, but they're definitely okay. So it looks like throughout this video, I was not able to get this phone to stutter. And I know, I mean, what else are you gonna do? We opened up you know, third-party applications, we played a game, 
We're watching some media. We read some news. We did some typing. I mean, what else are you going to do on your phone? And if I wasn't able to get it to really lag up too much, that, that tells you right there, the iPhone 10 is still usable December 2023. I think that's a pretty, pretty incredible feat. And it's proof that if you buy an iPhone 14 Pro, iPhone 14, you have many years of support to look forward to. You really don't need to upgrade every single time unless you just like having the latest new features because the iPhone 10 is an incredible piece of proof of that. The Bionic series, and when Apple said this was the future of iPhone, they really meant it, it didn't really feel, you know, at first I was like, okay, just another another marketing gimmick, but definitely I think they, they nailed it when they said this was gonna be the future of iPhone. And when they were talking all that spit about the A11 Bionic and how fast it is and it's blazing quick, it was. It held up just fine. So let me know who's still using an iPhone 10 in the comments section of this video. Are you gonna be picking up any of the newer iPhones? Are you upgrading your iPhone 10? Is it time? Are you fine with it still to this day? Are you ready to, are you just gonna hold out to the 15? Let us know down below in the comments. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Nick here, be sure to be well and peace.